All right then, so this is looking pretty swanky now. There's one more thing I wanna do for each one of these rows, and that's just to style up the status a little bit because at the minute it's a bit boring. So I'd like to color coordinate this and place these in some kind of little bubbles or as they're known in Beautify, chips. So before we do that, let me just go to the chips page on the documentation. Let's type in chip and go there. And you're gonna see a lot of different use cases for this. We can have chips which look like tags that we can cross off, or you can have chips which look like this with a little avatar on the left or just an initial. The one we're gonna be doing is the simplest one, which is this thing right here. All we want is a little bubble that surrounds our status over here, and then we can color coordinate that bubble dependent on the status to match the color over here, okay? So then, let us go to the code. Now, this is where we want the chip right here. To begin with, I'm gonna get rid of the heading because we don't need a status heading. Instead, we're just gonna have a bubble over there which is gonna take up a little bit more room. So let's get rid of that. And in fact, I'm gonna get rid of this as well. And we'll start afresh inside this flex item. So first of all, I'll create a div to surround this and I'll explain why I'm doing that in a minute. But first of all, let's create this chip. Now to do that, we use a component called V hyphen chip. Simple to remember, right? Now this chip is gonna be small. So we're gonna add in the small keyword. In fact, I'll leave that off and I'll show you the difference between the two sizes later on. Okay, so inside this chip, what do we want to do? Well, we want to output the project status. So again, double curly braces, project.status, and that will do. So save that, and let's just view this in its raw format over here. So that's looking all right. So now if I add small to this, let's see, does this make a difference? Small, and it does. It just cuts it down a little bit, and I think that looks a little neater. So we'll do that first of all. Now, I wanna give this some classes. And like above, I want these classes to be dynamic because I'd like to output the status as one of these classes so that we can color coordinate them down in the CSS. So what I'm gonna do is use data binding on the class, so colon, then class is gonna be equal to a template string again. So that's the back ticks just below the escape key on most keyboards. Now then, first of all, I'm gonna output the variable, so dollar sign, and then project dot title, or not title, rather status. Uh, so that would be ongoing or complete or overdue. Then I want this to have white text. So white double dash text. And then we'll make the font size of this to be caption. So quite small. And then we're gonna give this margin in the Y direction up and down of a strength of two. All right, so let's save that now and view it in a browser. So that's looking all right. Obviously, it has those classes. If we inspect these, we're gonna see those classes, but it's not doing anything at the minute because we've not color coordinated them. But if we have a little look, we can see that this one right here has a class of ongoing. And if we look at a different one inside this, let's look at the bottom and go inside the div. This one has a class of complete. So we can now use these to style them in terms of the color of them. So let's do that. So I'm gonna go down to my CSS where we did the previous ones. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this from my GitHub repo because I'm sure you don't want to see me type out CSS rules. But what I'm doing is saying, okay, get anything with a vchip class. And by the way, chips in uh, Vutify have this v hyphen chip class. You can see this right here. See where it says v hyphen chip. So we're grabbing anything with that class and also pairing it with complete, ongoing and overdue and we're making the background of those, these three colors similar to above. So let's save that and see if this works. And voila, looking pretty good. So that's all right, that's looking nice. Definitely a lot nicer than what it was before. But I think what I'd like to do is position all of these so the flush to the right rather than the left of where they are. So to do that, we're gonna go right back up and give this div over here a class equal to right. And what that is gonna do is align the contents of this div, which is the chip, over to the right. So if I save that now and preview this, that is looking better, all right? So there we go, we have our chips now, and this over here is pretty much complete. Now, if you wanna learn more about chips, again, just type in chip over here, and there's loads of different use cases, so you can scroll down those, 
see all the props and the different ways we can use them. There's code examples for each different one.